I'm here at a bone marrow drive where a longtime Lake Orion resident is looking to find a match that could potentially save her life and becoming a match could be as simple as taking a cheek swab. Linda Hamilton and her husband Dave have been Lake Orion residents for nearly 40 years. Linda has been employed by the Clarkson School District for 25 years and Dave has been a volunteer Lake Orion firefighter for over 35 years. They raised their family right here in Lake Orion and now they're asking for your support. Linda was diagnosed with leukemia last September and is in need of a stem cell transplant. Her daughter Carrie Jolly organized today's bone marrow drive to bring awareness to the community with the hopes of finding donor matches. As a family we're relying on a stranger to be my mom's donor so we're hoping that doing this today we'll find a donor for somebody else that's waiting. And finding a donor match is the miracle cancer patients like Linda need. The hope is for her and other patients that that donor will be identified, they'll go through the transplant process, and hopefully their leukemias will go into remission. Becoming a potential donor is easy. You simply fill out a consent form and take a cheek swab, which adds your DNA to the donor registry. If you are a found match, you will be asked to donate in one of two ways. It'll either be a stem cell donation, which is similar to platelet or plasma donation. It's the most common donation type. The less common donation type is the marrow. It's not as invasive as most people think. It's outpatient and you're under anesthesia. Um, it's a small incision on the lower part of your back. So small they don't even stitch it up. Most people are back to the regular activities within a few days. Linda is currently receiving chemotherapy, but a stem cell transplant is her greatest chance of reaching remission. I just did my third round of chemo and um, I will, uh, and it happens that I have to go back to, to stay in like a semi-remission because chemo don't, won't keep you in remission. So that's why I need a donor to get my my, my savior, my life, my life savior. <laughs> Linda is in the fight of her life and drives like this finds many donors and save many lives every year. People know to go to be an organ donor. They know to give blood. They don't, a lot of them don't know about bone marrow uh, donation and that's important. And I guess it doesn't really hit home till it touches your life. If you were unable to attend today's drive, it's not too late to make a difference. Log on to BeTheMatch.org and see how you can become a donor. From Clarkston, I'm Katie Shimatero, ONTV News.